something borrowed, something blue. Give us all your juicy news, sensational, irrational. It's Wedding Confessionals. Welcome to a special holiday edition of the Wedding Confessionals podcast. I'm Brooke. And I'm Pam. And the only thing we love more than weddings is talking about weddings on Christmas Day. Happy Christmas, Pam. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, bro. <laughs> I want to be British for a second. Shout out to our British listeners. Yes. British people love Christmas. All right. They do. I, They're super into it. I love it. Every British person I've ever known is like way into Christmas. Really? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Paul Barry, who's been on the show. Yes. Fucking loves Christmas. Really? You don't know this about him? I don't think I do. Oh, he gets in. <laughs> yeah, he's like all about it. So nice. shout out to Paul. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Merry Christmas, Paul. Um, so speaking of someone who's really into Christmas, I asked Pam, I was like, should I bring in the jingle bells? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. Uh, of so course. I got to tell you guys a story about the jingle bells. First of all, we'll actually <laughs> hear them. That's coming on the mic, right? <laughs> yeah. It's loud, right? It is, it is loud. Um, so these were given to us by my beloved mother-in-law. Um, so my, my mother-in-law, my husband's wife, my husband's mom, Mom. I'm the husband's wife. Yes. Um, they all live on the East coast up in Maine. Mm Mm-hmm. And, you know, we live out here on the West Coast in Los Angeles. And, you know, especially during the holidays, if we're not near each other, you know, she'll get a little sentimental and miss us. And that's totally sweet. Yeah. But one of the ways that she likes to direct that 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 emotion and wanting to connect with us on Christmas morning, since we're not there, mm-hmm. is that on Christmas morning, she will call us. Her and I think it's about eight in the morning mm-hmm. so our end it's like five. five in the morning oh yeah so we're dead asleep on christmas morning <laughs> yes. also known as christmas eve night pretty much still yeah yep. <laughs> and she just the phone will ring and tristan will struggle to find the phone because it's like <laughs> you know dark and it's you know early in the morning and he will on the other island all you hear is and Tristan's mom saying, ho, 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 for 30 seconds. And then she just hangs up the phone. <laughs> that is amazing. She doesn't say anything. Does she call back later? And we talk later in the day. <laughs> but it's like her tradition. She's been doing it for years. Does she pretend like that never happened? It's like, oh, did I heard Santa gave you a visit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's it's really so cute. Funny. I know. It's really funny. Um, so anyway, um, so, Mary so you can, have your own bells now. So now I got my own set of bells. I should be, I should counteract it and wake her up at 5 a.m. Yes. I should already be up. She's an early riser. <laughs> God damn it. You Pat. can do it at like midnight here yeah. before you go to bed. Right. Just do it in March. Just like really <laughs> screw it up. <laughs> Unsuspecting throughout the year. There you go. Jingle bells. Um, so yeah, this is the time of year where we can all, um, listen to Christmas music and also your favorite podcast. Hello. Hello. So, um, welcome to Wedding Confessionals where we talk about Jingle Bells, apparently. (laughs) The way the show normally works is that we have a guest and we ask them all about their personal history with weddings and really get into that. And we also get our, um, anonymous confessionals from listeners, um, which can be rants or questions. But today is a mini episode because it's Christmas. It is. We're not going to drag a stranger in here for Christmas Day. <laughs> Could you imagine? We're not. No. But typically, and you got engaged on Christmas Day. Yes. There's a lot of engagements that may or may not happen today. That's true. So we didn't want to like not have a Christmas episode because what if this is the day where you're desperately immediately like, oh gosh, what am I doing? I'm getting married. I'm <laughs> I need to know I'm all doing. things wedding. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Yes. Um, so we thought we'd ha- do a, a mini episode since it's the holidays. So we didn't want to leave you guys hanging, but we wanted to do something kind of quick to say hi. So um, we're just going to read one confessional between Pam and I mm-hmm. and answer it. And then we'll still get to bridal breaks. That's right. So yeah. And then in the in January, we'll get back to normal formats. But it's the holidays. Yeah. Let's enjoy some jingle bells. <laughs> we had that random drink that I made earlier. That was good. The sparkling, uh, just regular cider, like non-alcoholic cider with a little bit of fireball. Bonus bridal break. Bring it in early. 
so unconventional. Good. I know. Um, Stealing my thunder there. This mini episode, man, it gets loose. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Not okay. sticking the form at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, we are going to hear, Pammy, you've picked out one. I literally have no idea what you're about to read. <laughs> Usually I at least scan them before we start, but mm. nope. This is a surprise. You could, yeah, this is a big surprise. All right, so I picked this one special. Here we go. Do it. Hi, ladies. I'm an avid listener and find your show brightens my day during the chaos of wedding planning. We're getting married October of 2019, and I'm wishing we had just eloped. My mother is a good woman, caring, thoughtful, loving, but she could not possibly care less about the wedding. She seems to find it offensive that I want to include her at all or that we're even having a wedding at all. Example, we are arranging for the makeup and hair to be done at the hotel for the maids of honor, me and the mother, mothers of the bride and groom. After, we're going to have photos taken. My mother turned and said, I don't need that crap. I'll get dressed at home and meet you at the venue. I mean, I already know what you look like, Those, so photos are silly. Example two, I booked a dress fitting two months in advance and asked her to come. Without knowing the date or any details, she said that she was busy that day and couldn't make it. <laughs> when I invited my soon-to-be mother-in-law, my mother suddenly wanted to take part. The irony is, come, t- come the day, I'm sure she'll sit back and say how she did everything, and she's so amazing. I get that weddings aren't everyone's things, but she is pissing me off so much that I don't want to include her in anything at all. It feels more and more like this is just a burden. What should I do? Should I stop including her in anything and, and have her show up? Sincerely, Cindy Lou Who. Cindy Lou Who? Yeah. Is that what that person wrote? She did. Is that why you chose it? Because it's the holidays? Because it's Christmas. And we heard from Cindy Lou Who. She's got a Grinch of a mother? <laughs> I guess. Yes. Trying to, the spirit of weddings? Yes. Um, hmm. So she has a mom who doesn't really seem to be that jazz getting involved in the wedding planning process, but is fine with her marrying this person, mm-hmm. right? It's just the actual wedding that she's kind of like, Bleh. yeah. But when her competitive nature comes out with the idea of the mother in law, yes, she gets a little. She gets a little feisty and starts include and starts jumping in. Gets back in there. Okay. So the question is, should she include her or should she just stop trying? Mm-hmm. Well, if we've already done dress shopping, it sounds like, and we've packed out so much v- venues, if we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of scheduling, like, oh, let's get our hair done at this and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. She's pretty far along, right? Well, they're getting married in less than a year at this point. Okay. So there's some things. Okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, there's going to be showers probably coming up. Yeah. And I mean, I I, I get it. Like she's, she's got a a lot of excitement for this way. She's got almost a whole year to be excited or pissed off at her mom. Yeah. So, um, I think you can't, I think you can't, um, stop inviting her. I think you just have to. Invite, and if she shows up, great. If not, she doesn't. But don't don't hang everything on her. I mean, I, you you know this already that she may or may not come, and she may come, like you know, she's being a little grinchy. Yeah, it's kind of. I I guess hmm. My two points of view that I think of is one of like you're saying of just invite her and then it, if she comes great if not whatever like your own expectations have to be lowered and your about what you, her mom yes. yeah but the other thing is that have you asked her if there's anything that she is interested in because clearly it's not the dress clearly it's not like hair and makeup but if you i mean maybe there's some part that she would like to be included in and then you're finding you're piquing her interest and that's how you guys can sort of connect does that make sense? I like that. Maybe that's the way that you can sort kind of put it in her the ball in her coat. Not just be like, oh, my wedding planning, blah, blah, blah. But genuinely be, you know, bring it to her in the fact that, hey, you know, you're my mom. 
you know, do you want to have some sort of special, you know, thing that happens? Like usually there's the father daughter dance. So that's sort of an obvious thing. But sometimes the mother and the bride don't always have an obvious thing that's sort of like expected. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you want to do? Or is it she's really into flowers? Or is she want to pick the restaurant for the rehearsal dinner and she's really into like that kind of food, like find something that she's really engaged in and have a good time with her with that. And then don't really expect her to really do a lot with the other things. Yeah. I think she's going to show up at your shower. I think she's going to show up at a rehearsal. I don't think she's not going to show up at like the big ticket items. I just think that maybe she doesn't want to insert herself too much when it's kind of like, that's your thing. That's not really my thing. Right. Right. I mean, I, I agree to that to a point um, because I'm a strong personality and I had very strong ideas of what I wanted at my wedding. And my mom was there on the sidelines, but really like wasn't that involved either. And I honestly thought my mom would be more excited and wanting to be more involved. But I think she maybe just took she just stood on the sidelines waiting for me to be like, OK, OK she'll reach out when she needs my help. So yeah. maybe mo- maybe it's just a conversation that you need to have with your mom to maybe, like you said, find that that common ground that she's interested in. Yeah, I don't think that, um, I don't think she's definitely, I don't think she's trying to be mean. No. I just think she's also just being a little honest with you. Maybe a little mean about the like, why don't I get my hair done? I think <laughs> so that's her. Also, you know, if you think back to how, you know, do you know any stories about her wedding and what how her up, upbringing, upbringing is, you know, that might seem ostentatious and unnecessary. Maybe she's not really that fancy or maybe she feels intimidated by that. Maybe she doesn't like the idea of a big makeup artist doing her face or like some stylist doing her hair. You know what I mean? That might just be too foreign or intimidating to her. She doesn't want to waste the money. She doesn't see it as yeah. you know, doing something fun and girly and together. She may see it as a waste of money. Yeah. Or just, you know, that's not really how she ever envisions how weddings go. Because mm-hmm. that's not really what she grew up going to. So some of it could be generational slash your personal experience and your, you know, your culture. But, you know, I don't think that, I mean, I think keep inviting her. Why not? But I yeah, don't expect the don't expect her to do a 180 and become a different person. Also, I know it's kind of annoying you, but like, man, you know how many mothers out there just try to insert their opinions left and right and take over and so true. So, I mean, at least you got that going for you. You get to make your own decisions. You're going to have the wedding that you want. You're yes. getting the dress you want. Yes. Like, think about it that way. Think about how empowering this is. The fact that you don't have to worry about, like, her bulldozing through. Oy. That's I hope a this, really good point. I hope this works out okay. And also, it sounds like the rest of your wedding's going well. Yeah. Yeah. So focus on the good parts. I also think that the idea of having that whole hair makeup thing beforehand, having come into girls' time, sounds super fun. Yes. Make sure that you do a good playlist. <laughs> yes. say, make sure somebody has a bluetooth speaker have some fun music some mimosas yeah some mimosas but not too many not too many a little no. bit of water in between <laughs> yes. light buzz keep it good <laughs> don't get sloppy you'll be great um yeah i was about to say what's the next one but that's it <laughs> no but let us know how it goes yes let us know we're doing follow-up episodes yes everyone's curious yes and i i think that you're gonna have fun on your wedding day yeah, it's I gonna think be okay. It'll be good. Yep. Yeah, I know we say that every time, but we're optimistic people. <laughs> we are. <laughs> um, so that's it for the mini episode. That's it. That's just it one and done. Our, our merry mini episode. <gasps> did I just name the episode? You the did. merry mi- mini episode. Yes, that's adorable. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Harry Potter. Um, so no, I always think of Harry Potter <laughs> around Christmas. Don't you? No. No. Oh. There's some little Christmas scenes in it. There no? are. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a little bit. A little the bit. Most, is it more Halloween because of the Witcher, the witches? I think so. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll make anything into Christmas. <laughs> Perfect. Harry gets that sweater. Anyway, um, so now we're going to go into bridal breaks. Um, for all of our new listeners, uh, welcome to a really quick episode and Merry Christmas. Yes. Um, bridal breaks are suggestions we give not only to brides, but anyone helping to plan a wedding of fun things to do that have nothing to do with wedding planning so that you don't, um, you know, strangle your mother who's not paying attention. 
to everything. But yeah, just fun things to do. Um, Pammy usually gives some sort of drink or a cocktail. Mm-hmm. Kind of like I already gave in the beginning of the episode. Yeah, you had a two for one this time. <laughs> yeah, a two for. What do you got? Well, um, since we had Cindy Lou Who giving us her question or rant um, venting of the day, I am sticking with that theme and went with a Grinch drink. It is bright <laughs> green. Nice. <laughs> um, not really sure how this is going to taste. Um, so if anybody tries it, let me know. Okay. Um, it is lemon lime pop, so something like 7-Up or Sprite. Yeah. Orange juice, Bacardi rum, Curac... Curacao, I never say it right. Curacao. Curacao liquor, which is blue. Yeah. And peach schnapps. And then the garnish is orange slices and maraschino cherries. Huh. So it's really pretty. It's bright. Let me see. Is it like a lime green? Oh, you know what? I would have thought that would have tasted a lot mintier than it is. I know. It does look minty. It's like a fruity. That would be good in the summer, too. I'm just saying. Well, with Southern California, it's a California Christmas. That's perfect. It's true. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's sweet. Mm-hmm. This one's sweet. Well, I guess they all are. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Pam gave a sweet cocktail. <laughs> this is true. Mark your calendars. It's a crazy. This is a very important day. It's Christmas and a day that Pam gave a sweet cocktail. <laughs> yeah, well, and this is, um, I found this on uh, sugarysweets.com. So if you're looking for this recipe, sugarysweets.com. And the name of it is what? The Grinch? Uh, it's a Grinch drink. It's a Grinch drink. Got yes. it. Um, uh, mine is not at all Christmas related, but that's okay. That's all right. I guess I could. Well, I mean, whatever. By the time who's going to, it's fine. Watch Christmas movies. Who doesn't love it? I haven't watched any of the new (laughs) Netflix ones. I'm not really that into those kind of things. I'm the worst. I don't know which ones are good and which ones are bad. You know, like how some of them are so bad, they're good. On the Hallmark channel? Yeah, like a Christmas Prince and all that stuff where everyone's like finds it so campy and fun. Right. I'm not good at the taste level of what is the correct amount of camp and what is just bad. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they're all kind of good in that way. I know. And I like all the actors. Everyone's so pretty. Yeah. I got to get into it. Anyway, so my bridal break for the week is um, a podcast called It's Britney Bitch. Um, not Christmas at all. No, not Christmas at all. But you know what? Whatever. About to hit the new year. And we all like to party. What I do like <laughs> is that this whole in between, you know, we're like the tail end of the holidays about to get into the new years mm-hmm. where you're not really ready to get serious yet. And you just want some kind of like bubble gum, sort of like fun stuff. This is a fun podcast to kind of marathon while you're like traveling or whatever, because right. it's not that long. Um, so it's a podcast um, that's hosted by these two guys named T. Kyle and Bradley Stern. And they're both in the media industry anyway. They're writers and they work. Um, I think one of them worked at MTV for a while. Okay. But they're huge Britney fans and have been since they were young. All right. So the way the show works is every episode is one year in Britney Spears' life. So they go through if an album dropped, if there was a big, important performance, if there are, you know, certain singles that came out, which sounds like, oh, that sounds kind of boring. But no, first of all, Britney Spears does a lot in a calendar year <laughs> between her personal life right. and her like records that come out and then her radio the singles. Videos. And the other mm-hmm. thing that's really interesting about this podcast and another reason why it might be good if you have Wi-Fi on a plane or if you're like listening to it in your home, it's kind of hard to listen to while driving, I have found, because they're so immersed in this world and they love it so much that, I mean, yes, they can be kind of critical about stuff and be like adults and be like, oh, I didn't really like that song or blah, blah, blah. Okay. But they, because they've been super fans since they were really little, they really know every performance like oh when she was on the billboards and she wore billboard awards in 2010 and she wore such and such outfit or she performed with you know michael jackson at the Uh and they know every single one of them and so as you're listening to each episode you end up pausing it and they even talk about the fact that everyone able to does so you can go look at it like yeah go to youtube and youtube this and they'll tell you what to youtube (laughs) so you keep pausing it to watch the specific britney spears um, performance there's some like european mtv music awards i've never heard of some german award show i've never heard of so you keep pausing it to watch like all the performances that does make it difficult if you're driving it does i don't do it but um um it's 
it's really fun and the guys are clearly like really good friends and they're critics but they're also super fans so it's this fun little blend between it yeah. and it makes you want to revisit every album but again it's like every episode is just one year so there's only they started in um 1998 and as of um today i think they're at 2010 so they're not even done yet oh so they're yeah. they're gonna go into january i think maybe february so um it's really fun so you I can like easily it. marathon it because it's only been out for you know a couple months now but it's britney bitch <laughs> perfect yeah so that's fine if you like britney spears if you don't Maybe this isn't the podcast for you. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> or give it a chance and maybe you'll find out you like Britney Spears more than you think. She's pretty awesome. Yeah, she's freaking fierce. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize how many songs she did. She's amazing. Anyway, so guys, I like Britney Spears and <laughs> that's all you need to know. So that's all our Bridal Breaks. That's it. Pamela. The holiday episode. The holiday episode has come and gone so quickly. I know. Ruth is in your lap. Yes. ferociously licking your hand <laughs> she is did you eat something earlier it's like one piece of popcorn i, I think she is finding the one popcorn. the essence yes. of one piece of popcorn yes. on your hand <laughs> i did i literally Go had girl. one so pammy this is the part of the the podcast where we have to talk about our show yes Are you ready always we have to promote our show and we do it in the form of a quiz mm -hmm. and you get to answer a bunch of questions love it you're gonna do you're gonna do work on Christmas. Look at you. <laughs> like a little elf. Like a little elf. Yes. All right. Here we go. Santa's workshop. Getting it done. Pamela, mm. if you want to find more about our show, where do you go? Weddingconfessionals.com. From there you can find show notes and pictures of the dog <laughs> and also connections to all of our social media accounts. Yes. Where are we on social media? You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Yes. We want you to send us your confessionals. Yes. Send us your anonymous stories of all of your drama Keep and all of coming. your stuff. Yeah, we want to know. Um, the, you can, there's a few different ways that you can send them. The first is an email, which is what, Pamela? Weddingconfessionals at gmail.com. You can also leave us a voicemail. We transcribe it and then type it out and don't use your name or your voice. Um, what is the phone number, Pam? Four three four yes nine three three <gasps> two six six three. Oh my God, it's a Christmas miracle! Are you kidding me? You finally got it. <laughs> Woo four three four nine three three two six six three. Four three four nine three three two six six three. It Say it for me, Pam. It is a Christmas miracle. Oh my God! See if you can do it one more time. Four three four uh -huh. nine three three. Yeah. Two six six three. <gasps> oh my gosh, she can be taught. <laughs> so smart. Ruth has to run around in excitement. She's, you, you, she's excited. You I'm got excited. Too excited. The dog had to get down. I know. Um, the third way mm. is um on our website, which again is weddingconfessionals.com. You just click on a tab that says "Tell us your secret." Yeah, tell us your secret. What do you do there, Pam? You leave us a little message. Um, if you have a question or a rant or comment about a wedding that you've been to, just leave it. I like it. Um, also, we want us, we want you to leave uh, your reviews on iTunes that, we, and hit subscribe. Yes. And hit how many stars? Five stars. Five stars. We need it to move up in their weird algorithm so more people find our podcast. Um, so you can help out all of the new brides and grooms that got engaged over the holidays. Yeah. Help out your fellow man and woman. Besides Apple Podcasts slash iTunes, we're in a bunch of different podcast providers, Pamela. Bunch. They're in alphabetical order for my ease and comfort. Mm-hmm. Um, but you still have to tell me what they are. <laughs> um, it's Apple Podcasts. Yeah. CastBox. Yep. Castro. Yep. Downcast. Yeah. Um iHeartRadio? Google Play. Google I Play. Heart Radio, Overcast, Player right. FM, Pocket Cast, Podbean, Pod Paradise, Podtail, Podcast Addict, Podcast Land, Podcast Republic, Radio Public, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, and YouTube. You know, y you win and you lose. It's all good. I got you one. Got the phone. I got the phone number you today. The phone number. It and is. Then, that was the. And then you just I'm did in a, shock. You did your victory laugh early. I did. <laughs> And that's it, Pammy. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.
Special thanks to Andy Schreier for our adorable theme song. And David Kancherwitz for our fantastic logo. And Ramsey Millette and Brian Maylard for their technical support. If you want to learn more about our show, where you got to go, Pam? Check out our website, weddingconfessionals.com. That's it, girl. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.